just for fun, I've set myself a challenge of trying to build a rocket stove in one day. So the idea is, I start with a bit of box section in the morning, and by the evening, I've got a stove I can cook my tea on. The idea of the rocket stove is that you build some sort of L-shaped pipe, and then you load that up with fuel. And as that fuel starts to burn, what's going to happen is that you get a convection current pulling air up through the chimney, which in turn causes it to suck in cold air from the air intake. That fans the flames, so you get a bigger convection current up the chimney, and then you suck in even more air, and the whole thing goes round and round. Anyway, this is what I've come up with during the day. So the first problem is how tall do I make it? Well, I didn't know, it's got to be something, so I picked 325 millimetres. The air intake pipe, I've made 250 millimetres long, and I've also added a feed tube to put sticks of wood through. That's 200 millimetres long, it's at an angle of 45 degrees, and then finally, the box section is 75 millimetres across. In hindsight, I think I should have bought a bigger bandsaw. There's enough capacity for the box section end cuts, but not for the mitre cuts. For that, I'm going to use the mangle grinder and a metal cutting disc. For a longer term project, I quite fancy building myself a CNC plasma cutter table, and that meant buying a plasma cutter. It's also proved quite a handy little tool for this kind of project, because if you haven't got a plasma cutter, an angle grinder would do just as well, but if I've got it, I might as well use it. Welding wise, I'd originally planned to use a TIG torch, but that's not conducive to getting things done for tea time, so it's going to be MIG. I did find after the first test burn there was a bit too much smoke coming out of the fuel port, so I'm just going to make a hinge and a cover to try and put a stop to that. Well I think I'm pretty much there, but I'm sure I'll be condemned by the purists that it's not really a true rocket stove. One of the things I'm missing is some sort of insulation around the chimney. The idea of that is it gives a hotter flame, it gives a cleaner burn, and it gives less smoke. But either way, proof of the pudding is in the eating, so not being Bear grills, I'll use a fire lighter to light it, put in some sticks, get it up to temperature, and then we'll see how it cooks. To support any sort of cooking pans, I've just got some steel bar and then cut some slots in it so it'll fit over the end of the box section, and then I've used the plasma cutter to cut out a steel disc, and then just blackened it with vegetable oil as opposed to machine oil, and then, well, steak goes on top, and away we go. Well, I've been really chuffed with the results. The steak was really nice. It only took about five or six sticks to cook it, about the same to boil the kettle. And if you're thinking, well, what's to stop it all getting clogged up with ash? The answer is nothing. But of course, by the time it does, you're finished cooking. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe.